Okay, today we're going to uh, vac seal some Davidson's Organics uh, Moroccan Green Tea with Mint. Uh, we bought it in a one pound package and uh, again you get it cheaper that way. So now we're going to break it down into uh, four different mason jars. The reason we use mason jars to vac seal is because it can pull a lot more vacuum pressure than a food saver uh, type vacuum sealer could ever dream of, of doing. So here's how we do it. We um, Obviously we have the mason jars in the lids and we have a, um, a commercial vacuum pump you can get from any automotive place. I think this was a, a Mac Tools uh, pump. And then we have um, a vacuum container and basically it's just a kettle with a plexiglass lid that has a um, uh, a vacuum gauge on the top of it and a hose that hooks it to the pump so it's pretty easy so let's let's go ahead and get started here we're gonna put our lids on and I've already wiped the top of the jars off so there's no tea dust on there that would interfere with getting a good seal. We're going to go ahead and put rings on. And we're only putting these on to keep the, the lid secure to the, the jar while we're sealing it. You don't have to store it with the lid on. And the nice thing about this is uh, these lids, after you use this and the jar is empty, you can go ahead and take the lid off and re -vac seal it again. It's not like regular canning. So we're just going to go ahead and remove our lid. Set the containers down into the container. You can double stack these inside the container also. Um, and we can put a lot more in there if we want, but we really didn't have enough to do that. And this is just a rubber seal that goes around the top of the, the kettle. We're just going to set that plexiglass on top. We have both of our um, vents closed. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and turn our pump on. And it's going to take a moment. So you won't be able to hear me while this is going on, I'm sure. So I'll just wait till it's done. Okay, so I had forgot to open the incoming vent, so that was that was a problem. Uh, but you can see um, that it's pulled. I stopped it right before 30, uh, I guess you could say 30 pounds of vacuum, but it's actually based on mercury. Um, but we're just going to say 30 pounds of vacuum just to make it simple. Uh, I know somebody will correct me on that. Um, but a food saver says that it'll pull 20 pounds of vacuum or mercury. Um, and the test that I've seen on YouTube from other people that put gauges on the food savers, you're lucky if you get 12 pounds. So when you're using something that actually has a gauge on it, um, you know you're getting enough vacuum. And we know that there's absolutely no air going to be left in these containers. Now I've never done tea before so I don't know how long it'll last but I do know that other products that we do like pastas and rice and I think we have some flour and uh, potatoes, um, stuffing mix, uh, th that will go a good 10 years easily. So what we're going to do, we have the vacuum pulled, we're just going to release the outlet now. And that's sealing the lids down onto the containers. And we're just going to pull the top off, get these back out. Take one of the lids off. And you will not be able to remove these with your finger. You're going to need 
um, the backside of a, a butter knife or something like that to pry up. And if you're careful and you don't damage the lid, like I said, you'll be able to reuse the lid many times. Um, but there is no air left in these. Um, and again, I don't know how long they'll stay, but I do know that I'll get way more than I would have out of that bag. Um, so it's, it's as easy as that. And these, these systems, you can make them. There's people that take a old canner um, and they drill it and put a, uh, a vacuum gauge on top of it and, and they can do it that way. I like this because you can do multiple jars at a time and you know you're getting a very, very good vacuum seal on it. All right, thank you.